guys, Starsayer here, and I have a different unboxing for you guys today than usual. I got some really cool pop figures in today. Uh, some of you guys may know, some of you may not know, it depends on if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, but I love pop figures. Uh, I think it started like three years ago, and I got a pop figure from a loot crate, and it was a Ninja Turtle. And then I got another subscription box, and I got a different Ninja Turtle. And of course, I had to collect all the rest of the Ninja Turtles, and then there's Splinter and Shredder, and yeah, pretty much those things are created in packs so that you can't buy just one, you have to complete the whole set. And just like Pokemon, I had to get them all, and next thing I knew, I started collecting pop figures from Halo, and then uh, I got Assassin's Creed and Skyrim, and I ventured off into the world of non-video game pop figures and got Ghostbusters and stuff like that. Well, now I have this very unhealthy obsession with pop figures, and I have tons of them. Most recently, I got the Hatsune Miku that's from Hot Topic, the uh, transparent one that's like glitter and stuff. Yeah, um, I have a problem. But today I got some more pop figures, and they are, I would say, the newest addition to gaming pop figures. And what I got are these really cool Call of Duty pop figures. I'm not really big into Call of Duty itself, but like I said, I am a huge collector of pop figures, and these ones are especially cool. They're just really detailed. Even the box itself, um, I'm trying to move it around here in a way that the light can show it, but not show the glare and it's not working. But anyone who was trying to show is that there's little mud splatters down here on the packaging here, which is really cool. So in the Call of Duty set, there's four of these. Um, so there's Lieutenant Simon Ghost Riley, Captain John Pierce, Frank Woods, is Brutus. So Brutus is the zombie here, but I'm gonna take this out of the packaging so you can actually see it better. I think Brutus the zombie is my favorite just because of all of the detail. Plus, like, who doesn't like zombies? I have a bunch of zombie stuff, so it's pretty cool. But, uh, oh, it, oh, it lifts up too. I was gonna say, I don't know if I can make it lift up so you can see his face, but, uh, it does move up a little bit so you can see all the, the detail on his face and everything, all the little wrinkle lines and everything, all the blood splatters. It's really cool. A little visor there. It's really neat. It's pretty heavy too. But all the cool little chains wrapped around him and everything. Mr. Frank Woods with his face paint here and all the little splatters down on his boots. It's really cool. For all you pop collectors who are freaking out that I'm opening these, I'm putting them back in the box. Chill out. Actually, I normally take all my pop figures out and leave them out, but because the boxes for these are so cool, I'm actually going to put them back in the boxes for display purposes. And we have John Prince with his mud splatters all over his face and his outfit. I like his expression too. Lieutenant Simon Ghost. Um, he's like the lightest of the four. Let's see. You see all the details there. And I don't know if the sunglasses move. No, they don't. But it's cool. He's got little sunglasses and he's got a microphone. Uh, they did do his eyes underneath. So even though you can't move the sunglasses, he does have eyes underneath. It's kind of hard to see, but they're there. I've never done pop unboxings or talked about my pop figures or anything like that in videos before. So this is my first time. And if you guys think that's really cool and you wanna see more pop unboxings or see more of my pop collection, let me know in the comment section below and I can do more of these types of videos because I do get a lot of pop figures. 
Um, like I said, I just got Hatsune Miku recently, and I also got some BMO uh, pop figures. So I have like a crap ton, and I've just recently started leaving them in the boxes too. So I have some that are in the boxes still. I have some exclusive ones, I have some rare, hard to find ones, and stuff like that. Um, most of the time you can get these figures like at Hot Topic. That's where I've been getting them lately because it's buy one, get one for I think like 30% off or something like that. So they have really good deals. So if you're like a big collector and you buy a lot of pop figures, you can save a lot of money by going to Hot Topic. Um, you can also get them like at GameStop or Amazon or you can take your chances with eBay, but eBay has been pretty expensive for exclusive stuff lately from what I've noticed. Even Amazon, like Hot Topic exclusives, you can find them on Amazon, but they're like $5 more, $10 more. Um, so I would say if you have a Hot Topic or something like that, that's where you're going to want to go for the best deals. And yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comment section below. These Call of Duty figures are available now. and. What kind of pop figures do you guys collect, assuming that you're watching this video because you also collect or you're just curious to see what the heck this is all about? Um, let me know in the comment section below what type of figures you collect or, you know, if you just saw some that you think is cool but you don't have any of your own, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which kind of pop figures you like. And that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Bye!